Hello, welcome to Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft. This is Richard, and guess what? I'm gonna do another cooking video. How crazy is that? <laughs> well, it's too cold to go outside. Yeah, it's yes. Negative 12 degrees. Yes, negative 12 degrees out there. I'm not going outside. So anyway, well, uh, down to time. You won't go outside, guys. We are going to make spring rolls, <laughs> also called egg rolls, and uh, I got the. Uh, the wraps here, the skin, the spring roll skins. We are going to add a little bit of pork chop for beef. Or I'm sorry, for pork. Why did I say beef? No, for pork. Fry that up yes. <clears throat> I purchased a small bit of cabbage, just a, a couple handful, uh, just a handful or so of the leaves of cabbage. Now, do we boil that first in the carrots? I have one carrot. I purchased water chestnuts, bamboo shoots, bean sprouts, and then I got a can of the stir fry fancy mix vegetables. Which probably already has bean sprouts. Which already has probably that in it, but regardless. And uh, that's basically what we're going to do. Now, we are waiting on a couple people to show up to help us out. We are going to have a guest on this channel today. Two guests. Uh, two guests and they are going to help me make these spring rolls. And, uh, and we're going to prepare them in two different manners, too. Yes. And once they get here, we'll uh, continue yeah. on. Our guest has arrived. It's Michael and Jolinda. So they don't want fried food right now because it's bothering their tummies. So they brought an air fryer, so uh, she's going to air fry as well as uh, we're going to do some deep fry once we get it done. So we're we'll going to get situ them. Sure. We're going to get all this stuff situated and uh, get the camera where we want it and we will begin. So we have a couple pork chops and all I'm going to do is cut them into small chunks and then we're going to fry them in the cast iron skillet. All right. So we so we now have the pork in the cast iron skillet and we are frying that up and we're going to get that nice and brown and then once we get this taken care of we will get back over to the table and we will start cutting up our vegetables and everything else. The, uh, the meat is fried up. I have the bean sprouts, the stir fry vegetables, the bamboo shoots and the water chestnuts opened up. We're going to pass these amongst everybody because we're going to all chop this stuff up really nice. And uh, then it's all going to go into this bowl after we get the cabbage and the carrots all nice and chopped up. So once we get all this stuff chopped up and thrown in here and mixed together, I'll get right back with you guys. I've got everybody working, chopping up stuff. Everybody but Michael. He's been a lazy day. Michael's, Michael's busy back there doing his own thing. And just make sure it's really small, really small pieces. You want it like this, right? Because it's going in like a egg roll kind of thing. So you want them like that, right? If you would like to cut them that way, just as long as they're thin. Yep. Okay. And I am going to start proceeding to get the cabbage and the carrot all cut up. And we will get back with you when everything gets done. Like just like out of the can? The oh yeah, yeah, the bamboo shoots. What's it taste? I don't want to try it. I'm scared to try it. I don't want to like it. No, a culinary person would taste it. Just I know. You got to taste so it if you're weird. cooking it. Chef Ramsey would be like, "How do you know if you don't taste it?" My dad always yells at me because they we were taught young to do the like. You can't say you don't like it till you try it. Right. All right. Some so thing. I did several uh, leaves of cabbage. I'm getting ready to do the carrots, and we have the nice little cutter I got at the Dollar Tree. By the way, this is a little Dollar Tree. Mm -mm. No. Where did we get this? That's a Walmart. This is Walmart. Yep. I'm sorry, oh, Walmart. So anyway, we're gonna oh, go ahead and. It's so little and cute. Don't be careful. Honey, oh my God. you don't even leave the ground. That's what I said. I told you. Yes, we're doing. Shh, this. Oh, I'm sorry. So there, Jolinda's doing really well. Look at that. She's getting those bamboo shoots all nice and cut up. 
shelves almost got all of the uh, water chestnuts cut up. Done. Fantastic. So we have everything in there and Jalinda is Jalinda is stirring it up nicely. And I'll, I'm going to cut up some more cabbage. We're going to put more cabbage in there. Maybe some more carrots too. And some more carrots. We'll do that. Maybe skip on his job. I did not. I was busy. Oh, I was busy. Blue. I was busy controlling okay, all you guys. It. We it have everything all mixed up nicely and I uh, got the cast iron skillet. So I'm just going to dip in a nice supply of this. Don't want to do too much. We're going to have tons extra. That'll sit in there. And we're going to let that get nice and uh, cooked up. And there goes the, the pork. We'll put that in there. And all it's going to do is just heat up. And once we get that all nice and cooked, I'll get right back with so you guys. So this is nice, nicely cooked up. Mm -hmm. So now all I'm going to do is take it and put it into a bowl. And then we need to let it cool down to get closer to room temperature and then we will start wrapping. So as soon as we get all this done, we'll get right back with you. Oh man, wish you guys could smell that. We have one of the skins in the water. I gotta figure out how to get it out of there. Push, push, push. There we go. Alright, yes. Oh, look at that. Nicely flexible and thin very good looking we're gonna lay this down oh it's stuck like it said it was stuck going like glue uh -oh. we're gonna take a handful of our stuff stick it right down in here food prep ladies have a heart attack yeah you guys can no it's just hot freak out are you there okay we go. yeah okay uh, there it goes. And we're just going to roll it. I may not need that glue. Roll it a little bit here. Oh, I so want to do one of them. Pull so this side in. Just like, let me do it. All right. We get the... There we go. I'll have to do a different angle here. Pull that side in and just continue to roll. There we go. Let's pull this side in a little more. Roll, roll, roll. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need that glue. Oh, look at that freaking thing. How freaking cool is that? It's my very first one. Look at that. Okay, my turn. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to set this down here, and then we're going to let Jalinda play with it for a little bit. All right, she's selecting one of the skins. going to sit it in the water. And it probably should sit for about 30 seconds or so. Let's get it down in there. And, oh, there you Flatten it this oh, direction sorry. here. No, it's fine. That way it'll... There we go. And it probably needs about 30 seconds or so of water time. Oh, it's already slimy. <laughs> <laughs> want me to get you a fork or something to dig into that uh, one? Yes, please. Okay. I don't really want to put my hand in the hot food. <laughs> so, just... so what do you think about this so far? I'm excited. I'm going to roll it. <laughs> All righty. I'm going to check it and see if it's good. Uh, it's hmm. kind of hard to get out, isn't it? Here, hold on. I still want to break it. There it goes. Okay. Uh, you won't break it. There. There you go. I think that's good enough or you think it needs some more water? Mm. I don't know. You tell me you did it it's, earlier. It's, it, I, I'd let it sit in for a little bit okay. longer. Yeah. It's not quite as thin as the that's probably be oh yeah the, yeah Do you see how oh yeah that's good there you go okay yeah oh, go that's ahead. good can you feel the difference yeah oh okay gentle like a jellyfish yeah. uh yeah kind of i don't like the texture of it <laughs> <laughs> there you go okay there just add some to one end of it You think that should be good? Ah. The, yeah, or you could add a little more. It's up okay. to you. Uh, yeah. There you go. That that might be that'd probably be a good one. Okay. And then just roll it up. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a picture of her face. So there you go. <laughs> Yeah, 
They're so sticky. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's super fun though. Babe, you gotta do this. I'm okay. Oh yeah, my god. There you go. Look, Show I it. made, oh, oh, kind of oh, there, I made it. it. There you go. Hold on. <laughs> and there's her first one. So, uh, looks like Jalinda and I are the only ones that are really enthusiastic about making these. Michael and Michelle said they weren't really interested. <laughs> Michelle just wants to eat them. <laughs> so we are going to do this, uh, get them all made up, and once we get that taken care of, I'll get back with you and we will get the cardboard oven out and we will start getting that prepped and we will uh, cook a few of these out and we're going to have a taste test with them as well. So get back with you. Yes, and also Jalinda and Michael went to air fry a few. So we'll get back with you when we get them all made. Alrighty, there we go. Kind of does look like a jellyfish, don't it? In the yeah. water? Feels like one too. I don't know what a jellyfish feels like. Like, like that. that. <laughs> That's gross. Uh -oh. Dang it, I keep seeing them when you're recording. Yeah, Sorry. please don't. So, Jalinda and I are the only ones having fun with this. and I'm enjoying watching you. Well, guys. yes, but I mean actually making. I think Richard's having fun smiling. watching me do it too because I keep smiling. And I'm, yeah, well, you're having it, yeah. <laughs> I so. think I put a little too much on that one. Maybe if I can keep my hair out of my face. Okay, and then we just take it and fold it. Fold it again. Fold it in. Fold it in. And then you do this. And then you do this. And then it's done. The perfect little egg roll. There it is. We are working on the very last one. Uh, Michelle is getting the air fryer set up. I am going to go work on the cast iron skillet with the uh, grease. We will not be using the oven today for these. We've decided that the air dryer and the deep frying are the only two uh, ways we're going to do these. So Jalinda's going to finish up the last one. Michelle's working on the air fryer, and I am headed over to the uh, stove area to work on the uh, hot grease so we get all that done so just real quick here here's here's one set of them these are the ones that are going to get uh, air fried and I've got the others over there so let's get over to the let's get over to the the fryer over there and we'll get right back with you all right so let's just scoot the cast iron skillet over let that grease get hot And here are the ones that I am going to be deep frying. Look at those tasty looking critters. All right, Jalinda has three of them in her air fryer and we're gonna get that going so she can continue with that. There we go. I don't want them to stick together. All righty, she's getting them out to check. Oh look, they're starting to do stuff. They are starting to do stuff, she said. So I'm gonna take a while. And we're over here at uh, my station where we are getting ready to deep fry my section of them. And uh, so basically we'll show a little bit of deep frying and uh, then when we get them done we will head over there and show them to you as when they're done. <laughs> Alright, so those are turning out looking really nice and listen. You got tongs so I can flip yep. them? Listen to that. She's over there air frying. I'm going to go ahead and place these in <laughs> grease. Oh, hear the sizzle? Hear the sizzle? Oh. Oh, oh, get them off each other. Oh. Mess them up, Bentley.
Oh my heavens. Uh oh, that broke. One of them broke. Gotta be really careful. Looks like we're gonna have to do these one at a time. We started cooking these up and we realized a couple issues that we're trying to fix now. One is we're double wrapping. Uh, they seem to not hold together very well with just a single wrap. So we are double wrapping the, the things. I'm going to have to take some of the grease out. Uh, I think maybe I put too much grease in there. I'm not really quite sure. But they, they broke open uh, for one. So let me show you what, what mess it made. So these broke when they hit the grease started jacking up this one is still not too bad but I pulled it out right now so I'm gonna pour out some of the grease and I'm not gonna have so much grease in there but I think we're gonna when we double wrap I think that's gonna help out a lot mm -hmm. yes so this here's is the, the dog one this is the air 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 cooker they don't look appealing but we're gonna try them and see but they're pretty pretty hard yeah they're pretty feel them they're hot though be careful yeah, that look that that feels decent. I didn't want to cook it anymore because I don't want yeah. them to burn. So this is what they look like single wrapped. Double and wrapped. And then that one right there is double wrapped. So we're we're definitely gonna double wrap all of them just to be on the safe side. And that extra crunch. And yes, yeah. hopefully add that extra crunch. So here she is double wrapping the the next one. It's not very hard to wrap them either. It's pretty easy. Yeah. Voila, so there's double wrap. All right, so I tasted one of the jacked up ones. It tastes fine to me. We're getting ready to give Violet one that we made for her in the air fryer, so let's check Michelle's that out. doing some tater tots in the air fryer, and there's there's her spring roll. Oh, there you go. Good girl. It's okay. You can have it. Uh, what did you put it on? You just drink it on. Put it on the tin. That's what I did. Okay. I always cook it. The tater tots and fries take a test. There she Maybe goes. A little after. Yep, she's enjoying it. Here's like one it? of the double yeah. wraps. Let's see if that works. I think we I think we'll be better off with the double wrap. So the beauty of uh, doing this sort of stuff is we learn what works and what doesn't work and how things are. And then we get to share it with everybody else so that uh, you guys don't get to make the same mistakes we did. This looks like it's going to work a lot better. So I'm thinking I'm thinking double wrapping is a necessity for this. Well, these are actually doing better, although uh, I can't just walk away from them. I have to sit here and turn, turn them um, from time to time. And they are sticky, but I have to turn them from time to time so that they don't uh, get too much on one side or the other so this is uh, not something that you're just going to be able to toss in and walk away you're going to have to hit put them in there and then just move them around from time to time but it does seem to be doing better so we're going to go ahead and continue with this and once we get it completely done I'll show it to you when we get it get it completely done here. So this is working a lot better it is picked up a little bit of stuff that was in the skillet because uh, it's very very sticky. It's not sticky now, but it is very sticky when you're first doing it. Now they're not turning brown. It's it's not turning a nice brown color. It's staying very white. Are they still? Yes, this is staying very white. I don't know why. But regardless, it it, it is it is though it is hardening up, and it's not sticky anymore. So this is working a lot better. It? Double wrapping is is absolute is an absolute necessity at this point for us. Maybe if we get really good at it later, maybe we won't have to double wrap. But for now, we're gonna I'm have to sure double wrap it. Wrap These spring rolls, we just realized and found out, and they are turning a little brown. But we did a little research, and to make them egg rolls, all we do is is we dip them in egg before we put them into the skillet here to fry them and then they become an egg roll so Sarah there you go we take uh, we take these spring rolls we wrap them up a little bit and then we dip them in egg and then they become egg rolls so we're probably gonna do a few of those Jalinda got a couple eggs I think did you bring her a couple eggs they're fine 
So we're going to do that with a few of these and see what the difference is. So these are considered spring rolls and we're going to dip a few in egg and uh, we'll see what the difference is. Here is just uh, egg and what we're going to do is we are going to take one of the spring rolls and we're going to sit it in the egg and let it get a nice little egg coating to it and then we are going to deep fry it <clears throat> and this is the egg roll and we'll see if it browns up or what the difference is with this so here we go let's get this taken care of get a little there we go Uh, it's staying white, but it is browning up more. Yeah, yeah, it's browning up. Did you like it? Oh, sorry. So this is how the browning happens, apparently. It's from the egg. Because clearly the other ones stayed uh, more white. There we go. See how this one's turning brown. We're going to keep Marshall's fur up. I want to do that. We're going to keep Brett looking. So we're going to get these taken care of and then we're going to show you the whole uh, menagerie that we, we have made. We've made some just spring rolls, we made these egg rolls, and we also did some spring roll versions in the air fryer. So let's, let's go check all that out. These are browning up. Here's, uh, here's one that came out, and that's what it looks like. It's uh, much more brown. So we'll continue making these, and once we get them all made, we'll go sit down, and we'll do a little taste testing on all this. Hey everybody, so here are the spring rolls and egg rolls. So what we did here is, down here is two spring rolls that we did in an air fryer. We have four that we just did as spring rolls. And then we have, looks like, five that we did as egg rolls. Now, the difference between the spring rolls and the egg rolls are that with the egg rolls, we wrapped it up, we, we put it in egg before we fried it. So there, there we go. We got spring rolls and egg rolls. So what we're going to do is we're, uh, Michelle and I are going to get one of the air dried, and Michael and Jalinda are going to get one of the air dried, and we're fried. also going to try... Air fried. Air fried. <laughs> Yes, the air fried ones. And then uh, we will test out the spring roll version. And then we will test out the egg roll version. We will talk about them uh, after we eat them. So let's get the camera angle set up and let's begin doing all this taste testing. Here, So Michelle doesn't want to necessarily be in the video. So what we're going to do here is, uh, well, oh, it's there's cold. the spring roll and we'll take the spring. This is the air, air cooked. Air fried. Air fried. There we go. There you go. He can have some So, hun, take half of that. I'll get half of this. I want to use some sauce. Baby, come up here and sit next to All right. Looks like we're going to add a little sauce. What we got here? The sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. So, we're going to put some sweet and sour sauce on them. There you go. All righty. Get a little sweet and sour. Napkin for you. Thank you. Right here. Napkin for you. Awesome. There's the sweet and sour sauce. So, here we go. I'm gonna gonna test Whoa. that out. A little bit of sweet and sour sauce. I'm gonna test it without sauce. Mm. It's good. It's good. Mmm. I think it, the the shell is a little tough. Chewy. Chewy. Yeah. And not a lot of flavor in it without sauce, by the way. Mm. No. Not too bad though. All right. There's a good crunch with the flour chestnut, so. So let's uh, cut open one of these spring rolls. I just don't like the wrap, I think. You just don't like the wrap? Yeah. Alright. 
I'm sorry. I'm gonna say, dude, you got a share there? <laughs> really? There you go. <laughs> and there you go. Alright. So this is the spring roll that was deep fried. So we're gonna taste this. I like it better. Mm -hmm. Definitely better fried. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. I think if we could put some of the teriyaki sauce in the mix, might have helped it a little bit. Maybe. Alright. Mm. Now we're actually going to try the egg roll. We actually uh, added a little bit of, uh, there you go. I added some, uh, rolled it up in some egg before I heated it, cooked it in the uh, deep fryer. So here's the egg roll version. Tastes like, tastes just like I thought. Yeah, this is my favorite one. The egg wash. Mmm. Mm. <clears throat> this I like this one the best. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Better. Better? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everybody agree? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. So here's the spring roll version. We just uh, cook these up. These are fantastic. These are delicious. And here's the egg roll version where we uh, just dipped it in egg before, before I deep fried it. So uh, I would like to thank you guys for watching Bitless Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors. Now, what do you have to say about this whole thing? I think we need to work on the um, uh, <clears throat> filling flavor in the filling. Yeah, the I filling have is to say it's really bland. Bland? bland. Yeah. Okay. I did like it though because I was scared that I wasn't going to like it because there was things in it that I didn't yeah. know. But it was really good. Michael? It was good. Was I like good. the we We like this sauce. We got it from Walmart. Sweet and sour sauce. Craft sweet and sour. Uh huh. And it's just like what you get at the Chinese restaurant. Yeah. I do agree we need to add something to the to the whole mixture the filling, the filling to season like it somehow. Maybe a, a little teriyaki sauce, a little pepper. Um, I don't know. Do a little research. Little, well, a little bit of little bit of experimentation. Yeah. So we did have to experiment with this. Uh, this wasn't something. This is the first time that any of us has ever done anything like this. We had no recipe to go by. Yeah, we didn't have anything to really go by. I do suggest to double wrap. I think that was very important. Double wrapping these things uh, made the difference between uh, working and not working. Anybody got anything else before we turn it off? I want to say it was very fun. And it's good to experiment. Don't be afraid to experiment. <coughs> because, you know, we what, what, what did we learn? We learned we needed to double wrap. We yep. learned we liked it better with the egg, wa uh, egg wash on it. Yep. We learned that the you know we need to tweak the filling. Yeah. I mean the filling had good content. It was just very bland. Yeah, we just need to. You know, I don't know. We're used to flavor. Yes. Um, <laughs> I think if I think if we were like straight up you know weird vegany vegetated people who didn't care I don't even about know that because they use spices and stuff. Well, but okay. I would have put some slap your mama in there. <laughs> if we didn't have any, if we weren't used to spices. Yeah. I think that would be. I think it would be okay. Anyway, I, I enjoyed it. I love doing this. It's not this. that they weren't good. We just need to work on it next yes, time. Yes, I thoroughly enjoyed this. I think it's fantastic. I and the best part was hanging out with the kids. Exactly. I had fun rolling it. There you go. <laughs> that was All fun. Right. So thank you guys for watching Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft. And enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard. <laughs>